Dressel, by the way, is not done because he's going to lead off the Porter Freestyle Relay. He may have a chance of breaking the world record in that one as well. well we opened, didn't we say? Yeah. I said two, three, four, who knows? <laughs> All right. Another interesting race here, folks, because Joystrom back in the pool deck. About 40 minutes or so after she swam the Hunter Butterfly, Beryl Gastadello back on. She's going to be in lane number two. Abby Whitesville, American record holder, down in lane number one. But it's still been a pretty long day for these guys. You think about the grind that is the International Swimming League. Completely different to how it sets up an international competition because Shoystrom has swam the Hunter Butterfly, the Relay, and now has to race this 50 freestyle. All within 50 minutes, right? And she just got out of the relay, but all eight swimmers just got out of the relay, including Abby Weitzel, 15 minutes ago. So it's basically an even playing field when you're talking about that kind of rest. Joystrom is certainly vulnerable in this race based on her fly. She was only 51-6 on the relay, so she really backed off on that relay to have a chance there, and uh, very tight. Energy really needs the win. Joystrom trying to haul in some points, and big ones indeed, but Gastadella trying to snatch it again from Joystrom, but it's gonna be one, two for Energy Standard. That's what the defending champs needed, folks. That'll put a smile on James Gibson's face. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's it. it. You could not pick a better scenario for energy. The jackpotted, she goes one, two. Joystrom, 23.55. Again, time not that fast. So again, that tells me she's certainly vulnerable. If Weitzel goes her time that she went earlier this season at 23.45, that time would have won it, but you throw that out the window. Look at the head being down in line with her spine all the way to the wall. Weitzel gets third, 23.90, but you had three swimmers break 24 there. What a swim by Hemsker. Don't count out the defending champions, folks. They're within 20 points, and they're the favorites later on in the relays. Things are looking good in Budapest.